new owner. Well, a video of the Orno police chief is getting some attention for all the right reasons. One man filmed his interaction with Chief Ewing while trying to file a complaint against an officer. Kelly Mitchell reports. He spoke to me and he was really attentive to me. Orno's police chief getting some internet praise for how he handled the recorded interaction. The YouTube video was posted on Monday and shows Chief Josh Ewing responding to a request for an officer complaint form. I know most police stations have them there um, to complain against an officer. Absolutely. Can I get one of those? Yeah, absolutely. Chief Ewing brings out a form and offers to talk over the complaint himself with a visitor. Might seem like a simple interaction, but the local YouTuber who made the video says he has had a bad encounter with police before. So now he records himself interacting at different police stations around Maine and posts them online to show the public what to expect. I might think great things of all of our people and then yeah. you find out that something's been going on that you don't know about. So. Right. The YouTuber did not actually have a complaint with Orono PD, but says the response he got from the chief was the best and easiest of any department so far. I'm assuming his entire department is trained that way. That's why I post the videos, because I want to make sure that people see that. Chief Ewing says he did not know the video would end up online, but didn't mind being recorded. Any time that somebody wants to make a complaint about us, we just need to take it, look into it, and then see if there's anything we need to change. The video got more than 2,000 views in one day. One viewer from Minnesota called Orono's town manager just to say she was impressed. We are very lucky to have a chief like Josh. So I wasn't surprised, but it was very nice to um, have somebody all the way across the country. Anytime, we'll, anytime we can get some positive feedback, it's really nice. In Orono, I'm Kelly Mitchell for ABC7 and Fox 22. And Chief Ewing says they don't get many complaints, but officer complaint forms can be mailed in or filled out online. He mentioned they also have officer recognition forms. You don't want your camera broken. I don't do pictures. You don't want your camera broken? Yeah, you don't want to take my picture. Your camera will break. It'll break because I'm so ugly. No. Name birthday at all? Or? I do. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? You can call me Daddy. G4U TV out here once again in the town of Orno. Um, I'm cutting this into two audits. I just went over and did an audit with the uh, the police station there, and the town office is literally right next door. So we're gonna come over here and do an audit on them real quick. So these are the office hours. They're open till 4:30. Today is. Today is Thursday, so they should be open. Uh, let's see. The next election is being held on Tuesday, March 12th, upstairs in the council chambers. And we've got this. And there's more on there. So this is everything they do in this office. A bunch of stuff right here. If you need it slowed down, you can always pause um, the video. But yeah, if you haven't watched the chief of police and me have a little conversation, uh, he was great, in my opinion. You know, not not to tooting anyone's horn or anything like that, but awesome. Cool stuff on the wall right here. You're welcome. Tell the Decorations hanging. I got some stuff up here. I got a cane. Boston Post to the oldest citizen of Orono, Maine. Yeah, 
Huh. And they got a bunch of. Assuming these are law books or whatever. More flyers. Be kinder than necessary. I like that. Laughter is the fireworks of the soul. <laughs> okay. What's this say? Live the purpose of life is to be useful to office. So I'm assuming this is... So that's... Is that the whole building or is there more? I wonder. Office of Community Development. Economic Development. Planning. Home Enforcement. This door is... This door is locked. Seat front counter. So... I wonder what they have upstairs. Let's go take a look. Didn't see anything that said it's not open to the public. It's open to the public. Is uh, is this like just for employees up here? No, you can go. It's a public building. It's cool. All right, I appreciate it. I'm just looking. Why is it so dark up here? You guys don't use lights? Nope. And I'll save electricity as much as I can. Hey, that works. I can appreciate that. I liked his, uh, his response. So that's like where the employees have breaks and stuff, I'm assuming. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. See, I would have missed all this. Can't miss all this, man. Come on. Cool, like, plaque or whatever. Nice little picture of Arno. Gotta love it. stuff. Grammar school and stuff. I like this eagle. I'm assuming that's an eagle, right? Looks like it. Nice golden eagle. You see what that says? From 1890 to 1964, the eagle has stood guard over two previous Orono town halls. Now retired from service, the Eagle takes its historical space in the Orno's Municipal Building as a monument to Orno's past. Wow, that's cool. You can pause the video if you want to see what that says. And they've got a whole bunch of stuff over here. It's pretty old pictures. That's cool. A couple more things, huh? And they've got like a conference room in here. Nice picture of NASA blasting off and then an American Eagle. Bald Eagle. And they've got a council room right here. Council chambers. Nice. Let's see what's over here. Town manager's office. Oh, okay, cool.
doors lock, see front. Doesn't say what office that is. Hmm. Hi, Hi. town manager. In? She's not. No? Not today. She'll be in tomorrow. Oh, that's a shame. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm just looking around the building. I'm not, I, I wanted to ask her something. Unless you've been here for a while. Do you know a lot about the town of Orno? Yeah, I, I guess it depends on the subject matter. Well, like history and stuff like that. Do you oh, know anything oh, about history. history of the town? No? Have you lived here your whole life? No, no, I, I no. No, okay. Yeah, that's why I wanted to talk to the town manager. I was like, I know there's a town manager here somewhere. I just got to look for him. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Thank you. All right, well, nothing else up here. I think we're good to go. Nobody said anything to me downstairs. She didn't say anything to me upstairs. So I'm going to say that these guys passed. Nice big fat P for me. So I think they run back. All right, we're good to go. That's all they got. Show you guys the outside of the building a little bit. That's what it looks like. I think they did a good job. Nobody said anything to me. Um, you know. I'm getting sorry for the shakiness. I'm using my hand to stabilize. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but is what it is. Oh, they got bus stops up here. That's cool. I kind of want to get the front of the building a little bit. Let's see. So. It says town of Orono right there. Council chambers. And that's the public safety facility over there. So I'm going to give the town office a, uh, a pass. Town of Orono did really well. Their, uh, their police chief knows the law. And uh, he was very happy to talk to me and, you know, said talk about transparency when it comes to the he was trying to get a couple, a little bit of information from me, but I didn't get much. So, Orno Town Office, I'm going to give you guys a pass. All right, guys, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we will see you on the next audit. TRG4UTV, peace and out.